what a lovely day. It's it six in the evening. A lovely British evening summer. Lovely. Hey guys, it's me at the Africa Twin again. Out again. Weather like this, you cannot resist it. Has to be done. Hope you're all okay. I've got the gas man behind. The gas meister, he's behind on the Super Duke, but he can't see him in the mirror. Uh, we're off to meet Big Z on the Hypermotard SP and the Daz man on his CB1000R. And then we're going to the pub for grub. That's what we're doing. So we've got a little loop out, we can't be too late. I think we've all got dark visors and it's bloody dark about half eight. So that'll be when we'll head back, so. With the, with the lads, I think Darren's come in and Big Z. So Big Z's on his hypermotard and Darren's on his CB1000. Um, so yeah, it should be lovely. It's just nice to be out on the bikes. We'll soon be putting them away in the sheds or garages and not to be seen for a few months. But then again, you can't be a nice, sunny, winter's ride, get a bit wrapped up, love it, real good feeling, bikes run so different in the, uh, in the cold weather as well, they seem more responsive. Guess he's having a little weave around, right, let's get to the pet shop and meet the boys, here we are, there's the boys! Boys! Gridlocked all the way from town, we're on the other side of the road. I saw one of these going up the 14, if I thought that was you. Son! Oh, mate. How you doing? Oh, you beat us here. I thought you were going to be late, we were late. Uh, no, literally got home, literally jumped my stuff, grabbed a jacket, helm, come straight out. Where's the bastard that can go to the pub without you? I can't believe Duh. it. Cool man. It's a nice eat. Nice evening. Where are we going in? I'll keep my helmet on actually. We're going to Triplo. It's dark at half eight, so we can't I've got dark visors. Oh my god, he's got his new tire. Well we're out on the bike. Look, it's all bristly. Oh, Oi, Bigs man, that's what you need on your bike. Winter. <laughs> yeah. Have you not been on your bike since Spain? No. <laughs> Look at his tire. Yeah. Yeah, they're not they're not conducive to wet and icy roads and stuff. The super courses. <laughs> Does anyone need fuel or are we alright? Oh, alright, oh, yeah, I'm not I've got two bar, be alright. I can't believe you've got a petrol gauge. Yeah, you haven't got one, have you? Like the 959. Bloody thing. Bloody thing. I will get some petrol if I can. It says I've got loads, but I don't I'll get you some that. petrol, 15 no, quid's worth. Right. I've got loads, it's fine. Yeah. Well, I won't fit that in. It's fine. Buy me, buy me a burger or something. Oh, right. Sort it out, man. I thought I was going to make it, man. I've been stuck in Ely all day. Grant, <laughs> we go and buy a petrol station. Yeah, we can do, yeah. No. We go to Barton. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we met the boys now. The sun is out. Naughty wheelie. <laughs> um, yeah, off to Triplo. That's where we're all Triplo. Triplo, Triplo. I don't know. As long as we've got this apart, but I'll be fine. Yeah, following Darren on his CB towel. With his new back tyre. Very new back tyre. He's got to be a bit careful on that. Still got the knobbly bits on it. Yeah, Waggy, my brother-in-law, had a bit of a, a to-do with a new back tyre on an RCA KTM. Come out of his house, span it round like a ballerina, straight on his arse. That is amazing how much damage you can do to a bike, just by kind of coming out of a driveway. But he had some RNG um, bungs uh, crash protectors on, and um, I think that made a huge difference. Tell 
you what, being on this Super Duke, I've normally I was riding my XSR 900 to work, but it's, um, unfortunately the indicators are completely packed up. I've had a mechanic, my mate Oggy, at m and Motorcycles in Cambridge, he had a look at them and, uh, yeah, it needs definitely a warranty job because they put the LED Yamaha, genuine Yamaha indicators on for me and they don't work. So uh, I'm not using that at the minute. So I've got to ride that over to the bike shop and leave it with them. I reckon there's a break in the wire somewhere which could take quite a few hours to probably find. So uh, I'm going to let Yamaha pay for that for me. If it had been a quick job then obviously just get, get it done but nah, I'm going to let them do it. Yeah, a bit of a ball ache having to ride to Peterborough at some point. Bikes and juggling bikes with family and bikes with work. It's never that blooming easy. And I should really make Yamaha collect the bike because it's not fit for purpose and it's not very, uh, it's not really a good idea riding without any indicators. It does make you look a bit more though. better oh I thought I'd ride it with your with your lid undone oh no that's not good not good at all I'm all done up now all done up yeah Daz Daz on his seat, uh, Honda he's not ridden it since Spain he's got a brand new back tyre it's got little nobles sticking out of it you'd have to be a bit careful we're not gonna go crazy anyway so it'll be bedded in by the end of this ride It'll be sorted. Oh, it's lovely to be out. The sun is a bit low, the visibility isn't brilliant, but uh, it's a bit of fun. Need to get some petrol first. I've got the sat nav in my rucksack. In the, uh, I've got my rucksack tied to the back of the bike. So I thought, put the sat nav on if we need it, but I think I know where we're going. Gary needs fuel. I think he's still got a problem with his fuel gauge. It's, it, tells us it starts it, it's got loads of fuel, and it gets moving, it goes to like nothing. There must be a sensor in the fuel tank or a little ball or something. Right, it's not that turning, is it? No, not that one. Ah, uh, is this turning here, I think? There's gravel on that corner, mega dangerous. Hope the boys are all with me. Yeah, they are. It's a hard junction to get out, but the thing is this rush hour, well, it should end at any time now. So it's busy. Any of the main roads through here are not, not quiet at all. It's just such nice little villages out here. They're lovely. pop-up pub here this Saturday. How do you, how do you, how does a pop-up pub work? Just a tent that sells beer, it's got a license. Very strange, very strange. Mate, 
get out of the middle of the road on your push bike and you won't get run over by a, uh, well, not me, but by a car. Hey, golden retriever in the back of the car. Look, his ears got when I rev it. <laughs> he loved it. I could tell a dog was a bike fan. <coughs> he knew he was. He loved it. He loved it. Right, let's go to Harston. We'll go by the Ducati garage. They're, they're obviously shut now. We'll, we'll roll by it. Go to the petrol station, then head to the pub. Right, we're to Gazmeister. Where's Gaza? Uh, is it? Oh, there it is. There it is. Son, you're out on your bike. Feels really funny. <laughs> I hit a stone back there, but wobble on. Ah, oh, there you are, dude. I thought we'd come here and get the pub in five minutes from here. Just up here and turn right. We're there. Easy. I'll go through Newton that way. Makes you realise how cool the roads in Spain are. I know, I know, yeah, it's not not the best of the best. Oh no, my wallet's tucked away in here somewhere. Oh, do can you pay for mine if I fill mine up? It won't be about 12 quid, I reckon. My wallet's in my, tucked in my bag. Yeah, tar, I think. No, that's the tyre, the, it's the stuff off the tyre that started to melt away. Yeah. Oh, that's why they're dangerous when they're new. <laughs> it's fine, you bed it, it's embed it in. Put you put normal in it for now, just put, they put 10 quid's worth of that in it. Nothing coming out of that either. Brilliant! Well, I know mine works, dude. Just wheel it over there. It's, it, it doesn't work. There's no petrol. It's just nothing comes out the t out the nozzle. Yeah, move it over there. Yeah, it's just taking it easy. Yeah, I'm just going to take it easy. We're not going crazy. His new tyre. He wants to. There's all the top bit started to sort of break away where they sort of they have a shiny stuff on when it's new. Yeah, he did. How many miles on it? Oh boy. Yeah, but when he left, it was all right. Honda said it was totally legal, no problem. Oh, and thousand. What? Two thousand. Three. Three thousand. That's what's going on. What's going on? And we did 750 miles in Spain. That's all that did it, and it was it was ruined. Right, let's get to the pub. Oh, I saw that van pulling out. I knew he was going to do that. Are you doing that, mate? Oh, this is the best part of the day now. It's so nice. Oh, no, it's itching like mad. I've had hay fever like all spring and summer, hasn't gone away. So annoying. Right, I hope it's not too busy at the pub. 
I'm sure it'll be all right. A few miles to go and we'll be there. Our bikes heard us coming. That's why loud exhausts are good. We, we like a loud exhaust. Roman triplo or thrip, thriplo, thriplo. It's where you can't see daffodils in the spring. Oh, oh, it's going to jar their nuts on their bikes. So we've got yeah, my adventure kind of bike. Bigsy's, uh, what they call it, supermoto. Is that what they're called, I guess? Yeah, supermoto. Gaz and Daz on their naked machines. They're naked machines. That right, Depurb is just up here, I think. Unless I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, it's here. Park at the front. How trapped. <laughs> That's up there. It's a good little run. Oh yeah, don't, shut up. Don't say things like that. I went by Ducati and I thought, oh. <laughs> yeah. Get the green man, all the old boys. Slip on. Yeah. Do you have to remap it? Don't know. I'm switching to Cutty, but you don't miss the R1 at all. No. Miss the speed of it. That's about it. Yeah, but we well, don't miss the R1. Sort of... A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that one missed the speed. You've got an 80 horsepower less, but you don't need that much power. No, you, don't. you don't need 200 brake horsepower. Cool. It's ridiculous. Yeah. There's a sub duke. <laughs> We've just left the pub. It's going to be dark in about half an hour, so we've got to head back. And a lovely burger, lovely homemade burger from the uh, from the Green Man. It's gorgeous. So we're not going to ride out anywhere further. We're going to head back M11 way now. Just get back quickly. The sun's only up for another 20 minutes or so. And with dark visors, as I found out before, not a good idea to be out in the dark.
not the best plan. Oh, I thought I was running along the hedgerow as a car. guys hope you enjoy that little run out to the pub it's good fun we'll try and meet up every week if, well a lot of the guys are away in the next few weeks but we'll try and meet up every week and do a little run out it's just getting darker and like earlier and earlier so it's even now with my dark visor on under the trees it's really dark pigeon Rah! the Gaza. <laughs> he hasn't got his rucksack on this time. Yeah, Gaza will head back out my way, then head to his. So yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed our little run out to the pub for a burger. As a very nice burger it was too. Good service. Great pub. The pub there is owned by the locals, and that makes it really special. They take pride in the pub and they just, yeah, they want to do a good job. Yeah, the food is great, so I would go back there. And there's great roads out that way too, so. I think Bigsy's burnt. There he is down there, just see him. So yeah guys, take it easy. I'll catch you later on another vid. I'm sure we'll be out again soon, doing something, going somewhere. So yeah, take it easy guys. See you later. Cheers. Yeah, see you tomorrow.